is at the hospital undergoing some testing while they try to find these people who are responsible. A Cincinnati police officer asking for help from fellow first responders after someone crashes into her patrol vehicle. What's your location and why do you need fire? Why do you me? You were in an accident or you want to put her in your vehicle? I'm in my vehicle. It happened early this morning near Xavier's campus on Dana Avenue. Police say the driver of this Nissan Altima didn't yield when turning into a parking lot and hit the police vehicle. The occupants of the other vehicle fled the scene and uh, the search is on for them at this time. Police say witnesses described them as two young black men wearing a red and orange hoodie. FOP President Dan Hill says this is another risk for patrol officers who spend so much time on the road. Uh, it's just one more added danger to policing. He knows the officer who was hurt and says it's always concerning hearing a fellow officer is injured. And you hope that it's nothing, you know, overly serious or life threatening. And thank God in this case, it's not anything like that. But um, I'll, I'll describe what I know of the officer's injuries is that she's banged up pretty good and you might might expect to spend a couple days in the hospital. Hill says this is a strong officer well known in the department. I'm, I'm guessing she's got three or four years on, but I do know her fairly well. And uh, I know her reputation very well. She is, she is top notch, very respected, respected by her supervisors, uh, really hardworking uh, young officer. Now we do know that officer was on duty, but it's unclear if she was responding to any sort of scene at the time of that crash. Reporting live, Molly Lair, WLBT News 5. Molly, what about interim police chief DG? Did she have anything to say about one of her officers getting hurt? She did release a statement this afternoon, Cherie, saying the reckless behavior of this driver could have caused much more serious injuries to our officer. We are grateful they're alive and CPD will be behind our officer as they make their recovery. There was no other comment uh, from the department, Cherie. All right, Molly Lair reporting live for us tonight. Molly, thanks for the update.